how to file ISF for darkroom supplies. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the world of customs brokerage and international trade. In today's video, we will be discussing how to file an importer security filing, ISF, for darkroom supplies. If you're a photography enthusiast or a professional looking to import these essential goods, this video is for you. Before we begin, let's have a quick overview of what we'll cover in this video. First, we'll explain what an ISF is and why it's important. Then, we'll discuss the specific requirements for filing an ISF for darkroom supplies. We'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process, giving you valuable insights along the way. So, let's dive right in. So, what exactly is an importer security filing or ISF? In simple terms, it is a document required by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for shipments arriving in the United States. The purpose of the ISF is to enhance supply chain security by providing the CBP with advance information about the cargo. Now, let's focus on the specific requirements for filing an ISF for darkroom supplies. The first thing you need to know is that an ISF must be filed by the party responsible for bringing the goods into the United States. This is typically the importer or their authorized agent, such as a customs broker. When it comes to darkroom supplies, they fall under the category of general cargo. As such, they are subject to the same ISF requirements as other merchandise. This means that if you're importing darkroom supplies, you must file an ISF at least 24 hours before the vessel's departure for the United States. Now, let's talk about the step-by-step -step process of filing an ISF for darkroom supplies. The first step is to gather all the necessary information about your shipment. This includes details such as the seller, buyer, manufacturer, shipper, consignee, and a detailed description of the goods. Once you have all the required information, you can submit your ISF electronically using the Automated Broker Interface ABI, or any other approved electronic filing system. It is important to note that accuracy is crucial when filling out the ISF, as any errors or omissions can lead to penalties or delays in the clearance process. After submitting the ISF, it's important to monitor your shipment for any changes or updates. If there are any modifications to the information provided in your initial filing, you must promptly update the ISF to ensure compliance with CBP regulations. As you can see, filing an ISF for darkroom supplies is an essential step in the import process. By providing necessary information to the CBP in advance, you're contributing to the overall security of the supply chain. We've covered a lot of ground in this video, discussing the importance of an ISF, the requirements for filing one for darkroom supplies, and the step-by-step -step process. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our upcoming videos. If you have any specific topics or questions related to customs brokerage and international trade, please let us know in the comments. Disclaimer note below, until next time, happy importing!